I don't know what's going on. Next week's our one year anniversary of Toy Anxiety, which is very exciting. So happy anniversary to us. Yes. It's been a quite a year, taking the world by storm. I'm telling you guys, we did some traveling this weekend. I don't want to go out on a limb and say this, but when we walk into a toy store anywhere in this United States, I he, feel the earth move under my feet. I feel like people kind of know what's, they kind of know us. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like a, it's a thing. It's a big deal now. Can, we, we're in Louisville, Kentucky. Nobody people, knows us. That's not true. <laughs> I had two people contact us on Instagram and said, I saw you guys in Louisville. And I was like, you didn't say hi. What's why up with didn't that? they say hi? They get so nervous when they're around us. They were like, me. "Why is I didn't know Ryan Duell was bald?" And it's like, "That's Hal." <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Hal was with us. We're gonna get into it, but let's let's uh, let's say hi to everybody. Uh, Abigail, how are you this evening? I'm great. We're uh, we're back from our trip, and uh, I've been kind of resting all day, so doing well. Thanks for asking. Yeah, very good, very good. Uh, Jake, what's up, man? Hey, pretty good. You know, I had to go back to work today, and that sucks. Like, yeah. we did mm-hmm. have a good, fun weekend and uh, a lot of toy hunting. And, and coming back to work, it's never the funnest thing. But I did have a lot of packages waiting on me. So. I love that. I was so annoyed. My mailman didn't bring me anything today. And I ran up to him, and I said, what's up with that? And he was like, I'm not the mailman. I'm just your neighbor. And I was like, oh, well, why are you driving the mail truck? It was a whole weird thing. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. None of that happened. Uh, Ryan Dole, how are you, man? <laughs> I'm doing good. What the fuck am I talking about? I'm I'm exhausted. I know. Let's let's point that out. Craig's been driving for the whole weekend. I'm still in the car. I'm still driving. Uh, Ryan, but what's you did going- a good job driving. Everyone's mm-hmm. safe. Everyone's fine. Everyone's happy. Questionable. Questionable. Except for your, except for your AC. Barely. I mean, that's that's not that's not <laughs> really yeah. happy. We we all came home to air conditioning issues. Hal's broke. Ours flooded. Yeah. Jake just has other people controlling his. Uh, <laughs> and Ryan, you don't have one. So somebody I take do. Us. I do have a, I have a I have an air conditioner in my bedroom. Very cool. Very cool. Because that's where shit gets hot. And it needs to be cooled down. That's where the magic happens. Oh, there you go. Hey, listen. Um, that means that's where he un- opens his toys. It's where I open my toys. Mm-hmm. It's definitely where I open my toys. So listen, we uh, we were off last week. Uh, we were preempted. Um, we're very busy. There's a lot going on in the world of YHS, so we're excited that everybody's here tuning in, hanging out. Uh, the chat is rocking already. Abigail, give us the update. What's going on in there? Uh, Toku Toy Town is in the house. What's mm-hmm. up, Jay? We've got potted Ewok Hal returns. I guess we got to take him out for a trip for him to show up in the chat. Return glad of the Hal. Glad you're here, Hal. Um, and Return then Blue Chainsaw of Man. the Hal. Um, Return of the Hal. Tune into regular YHS this week. We're going to record, I think, on Thursday night for all of the details of our trip. We had some fun. Went to a convention. Well, I'm sure we'll talk about it a little bit today. I'm just itching to talk about it. I can't wait. Um, by I'm the way, itching to hear about it, but I want to hear it from like Jake's point of view. That's <laughs> oh. I can't. Okay. fucking wait <laughs> you have like no idea listen have, i want to like, i do want to say i'm like gonna take that day off i'm gonna get in the tub <laughs> light some candles and listen to jake because listen to this man <laughs> we we met up um one of the calm down one of the vendors in indianapolis ugly Graham. they do t-shirts they have a really good instagram check them out and we've we've talked to them before we've talked about collabing with them on something but um they just happened to be there. The guy, Caleb, I believe his name is. And he was like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah, I got a message. He was like, why are you in Indiana? And I was like, I've been asking myself that all weekend. Yeah. And um, we went up and we met him and said hi. And, and he met me and he met Abby. And then he looked at Jake. He grabbed Jake's hand and went, you're my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. Yes. It was awesome. Yeah. So Tell uh, me he loved me. He, he does. It was, there's, it was sweet. There, there's love. There was yeah. love. Hey, real quick, I got to give a major shout out to one of our uh, listeners slash friends. He's in the chat, Tony Taylor, who sent us this incredible care package full of these resin figures that he's been making, really cool stuff. And I just wanted to show off something that he made. There was a lot of stuff. We're going to take more pictures, post them. And we we already posted some, but check this out. Um, This is a resin printed cast of the Kenner uh green ghost in a wow. translucent green mm-hmm. and it's got some weight to it and it's just damn cool he sent us a bunch of stuff jake i gave you that mini puffed and uh there's some mini slimers and oh there it is look at that he printed that out it's just uh really good stuff and and check them out at tony taylor toys on instagram um because uh he's 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 just 
just making really cool stuff and we love partnering up and hanging out and and, and promoting uh cool people doing cool shit mm-hmm. so uh check it out i think am it's gonna I, be selling am some I of the stuff f- am i the first person to have a mini puff figure you might be. Mm-hmm. That's that's pre plasma. I'm, I'm just yes. gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and take that uh take that title. <laughs> that's exclusive, uh, yeah. A little bit of a little bit of pre plasma. I like that. You're, yeah, you're the pre- king of the mini posts. He's preing. Um, oh boy. So yeah, <laughs> Jesus. Lots, lots of co- lots of cool <laughs> stuff. And then this was another thing. This uh, tiny little companion ghost Slimer. Um, yeah, just that all sorts of stuff. That might be the best Slimer figure that exists. It's is the cute. one that you're holding, Craig. I'm sorry? That one that... Wait, who are you saying? Who are you talking to? Wh- whoever. I don't know. What was I holding? This little guy? This little yeah, one? Yeah, I think that's the best Slimer figure. It's great. Hey, it looks like Slimer. What a concept. Mm-hmm. Um, so thank you, Tony Taylor, for sending that stuff. Uh, very cool. Um, yeah, love these. Um, I don't have much housekeeping. Uh, we're really excited. We did, you know, I, I did go out of my way as we went to these uh, various toy stores throughout the weekend to to spread the word of toy anxiety, like a gospel. Uh, I feel like I need. Yeah, a, we hit the road to share the good news. I want to do a toy anxiety tent revival on the side of the road in Tennessee. Did you have a giant flag that said "toy YHS toy anxiety"? I should sh- down the highway. I'm mad that I didn't. I'm mad that I didn't. Um. <laughs> Uh, so <laughs> that's really funny. Caitlin Larkin says, no, Jake, you are not the first, but, uh, you're yeah. the first to, in my eyes, you're the first. Uh, so, <laughs> um, okay, I'm cool. Ignoring so her comment. We, it's been two weeks <laughs> and so much news has happened. So we're going to get to the news. There's big stuff happening in the world of toys. It's, it's, it's kind of insane and overwhelming. Um, we even watched the Marvel Hasbro Fan First Friday while driving. We had it in yeah. the car. Uh, and we're going to get to all that. I driving know you, safely. Driving very safely. Um, although I read every single comment while driving. I was like, that's one for sad comments. That's a sad comment. <laughs> hey, by the way, sad comments is blowing up. Take the world by storm. I think we're going to have a spinoff of all sad comments. Yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> it's good stuff. <laughs> um, so I guess we should do some show and off, some show and tell. By the way, somebody named this segment. Uh, and uh, I don't show know, Show and man. tell? I just wanted to show you something. I just wanted to show you something. That's what we're about to Aww. do. Yeah. But like does anybody that. else have any updates or housekeeping before we do that? No, except for that I have to grab my phone to do sad comments, so I'm going to do that right now. If that's not till the end of the show, but okay. <laughs> Abby's skipping that's right. ahead. No, Did she's got to do what she's got to do. <laughs> well, that's okay. Um, Abby always leaves. That's fine. So um, I, uh, I guess I can start because basically to, to – get people in the know to catch everybody up. We did go on a road trip to Indiana, which meant in Tennessee and Kentucky and Indianapolis, we hit multiple toy stores. I'm going to try to remember all of their names. I'm not going to hopefully Jake and Abby can help me. Um, but should I start off with one of my pickups? Jake's yeah. Like, no, I'm not going to help you. Um, I just don't remember. Yeah, it's fine. It's cool. Uh, Abby's, <laughs> you know, we're doing a show here. Um, by the it's way, live. It's live. You know we're live here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know so much that I wore my NECA TMNT uh, magical mutagen. <laughs> musical magical mutagen torture. Yay! I'm, I'm on the ball. Oh. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. Uh, That's right. way better. There you go. Okay, so my first... Now, I'm not doing this in chronological order, just uh, as, as I see fit here. So I picked this up at Elite Toys in Louisville, Kentucky. I didn't buy much there, but I did see this guy on the shelf. This is Tracy the Gorilla from Filmation Ghostbusters. Um, is I that from have, Beast Wars? Uh, yes, this is uh, Transformer, I believe. Um, <laughs> I believe... Now, I, he doesn't have his backpack or his gun, which I'll try to pick up. Um, but I, I've got nine out of the, whatever, 12 Filmation Ghostbusters figures, and uh, his the price was right. And it's in good condition, and uh, I love picking up a little vintage figure every now and then. So, yep. Now, now, is that the uh, Congo mail away figure? This is the Congo. This is uh, Amy, uh, <laughs> better known as Tracy. <laughs> and no, actually, this is from War for the Planet of the Apes. Uh, oh, okay. Which I watched yeah. some nice. of this morning. That's good. That's a good movie. Good on them. Um, so sure. yeah, that was my first pickup. Should Very I keep cute. going? Yeah. Or? Keep it rolling. Yeah, keep going. We got a lot to get through. Yeah, don't stop. Okay. 
Dude, so, you're stopping. Slowing us uh, down. Let's go. <laughs> also, in Louisville, Kentucky. Now, we found this really great place. It was recommended to us. Uh, and we met our friend and listener, Owen. I think he's in the chat. I thought I saw him earlier. Yeah, he met it? us at the Antique Toy Mall. This place was incredible. We've all been to an antique store, right? Imagine an antique store with hundreds of booths, but it's all toys. Every one yeah. of them is toys. That place That's was That's not awesome. an exaggeration. Not an exaggeration. Jake, we were there for maybe an hour and a half, two hours. How long do you think it would take to really go through that entire store? Well, I, I was kind of stressed out because the th- uh, you know you and Abby and Hal had like checked out, and I had still not even seen everything. And I got, I got yeah. like, Abby, Abby's calling me on the phone. <laughs> this place is so big. Jake and I called each other three times in this place. Like, where are This hey, where place are you? is so big that you have to call each other. Abby's calling me on the phone and she's like, hey, we're at the work counter. We're checked out. And I'm like, I haven't even been through the building yet. <laughs> the, it's huge. And there's so much stuff in every booth that you can walk through, look at everything and not see half of the stuff in there. It was yeah, very it, stressful, but amazing. Also very well curated. A lot of the booths were like behind glass and uh, very well organized. And at one point, the store turns into a train store, and there was a man dressed as a conductor, which I love that level of commitment. Mm-hmm. Well, I thought I thought it was like those Twilight Zone episodes where all of a sudden you're in the past and yes. you have to do something good to get yourself out of the past. There, because there was, like a, there was a conductor in there. <laughs> Right. Would you get yourself out of the past if you got transported to the past? I'd be staying. I'd be like, sir. It depends yeah, on, I would well, not it depends come to the on future. which past. <laughs> the, envir- the environment sucks. Everything sucks. I would just stay in the past. Uh, it was hey, really cool. Hey, get on hey here's a spo- spoiler alert. It's always sucked. It's always, it doesn't matter. It's always <laughs> Not bad. if I get transported back to 1987. <laughs> Wisdom from Jake. Which yeah. we, Ryan and I decided that would, if you're the best toy year to go to in a time travel scenario is 1987 but anyways um i'm walking through (laughs) it's the end of the the trip i'm perusing i'm like listen i've bought some stuff we've spent some money i don't need to be oh getting this immediately bam i'm chasing down the lady with the key i'm like get over here lady with the key key keeper (laughs) key keeper this is all gonna be mine um she was very nice so what Mm -hmm. did i do i barged folks i'm talking five mint on card what is it called when you collect something and you sell that and then you kind of collect it again and you sell that and then you start it again? Indecision? It's a Craig. It's I, did a Craig. Craig. Yeah. I did a Craig. I did a Craig. You're Goldberging. Yeah. Um, everybody's commenting on the Funko Pops that got a prime spot this I was about to say that. <laughs> We're all very fortunate that there's no Funko Pops in this pile. I didn't buy any Funkos, just but thank you to Craig. Jeff Wisnot for he's he's Jeff Wisnot's my Funko dealer. He's just dude. He, he sends them to me in the mail unannounced. <laughs> what he's I, I got a a, a Funko Man. Pop. He's your supplier. Listen, I got a Funko Pop, Pop from Blue Chainsaw Man in the mail, mm-hmm. and there was a note printed from Amazon that said, "Let's keep this fucking train going." <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Five mint on card Kenner police academy figures. Check these out, Mister Sleeves with Foo Foo Dog. I have been eyeing the reboot. I'm rebooting the collection. I've been eyeing these uh, on eBay for the last couple of weeks. Haven't pulled the trigger on anything, but uh, could not pass that up. Those are in good condition. These are in very nice Those, condition. They look good. Flung high. I'm not sure if that's okay <laughs> on any level, but uh, we got no. him. We got him. We got him. Yeah, that's that's a no from me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what sucks? We didn't create these. Look toys? at the price tag from Walmart. One dollar. <laughs> Deep discount. Um, okay. The now we got some good ones that go for a pretty penny. I got a good deal on uh, Eugene Tackleberry. Hello. Look at that. You guys know how I feel about bright colors in my toy collecting. Really nice. And about golf. There. That's what? Shooter McGavin. Hmm. Wait, did Shooter McGavin play Eugene Tackleberry? Yes. All right, there you go. He's also going to be in the new uh, Secret Wars show. Um, yeah. Carrie Mahoney. Now, we all know who played Carrie Mahoney. Not on the cartoon, but it was... Adam uh, Sandler. No, 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 no. Who, who's the uh, Mahoney? It's uh, Steve Gutenberg. Um, so this is probably the most famous figure in the line, uh, but well, that it's also on Brooklyn Nine Nine. So 
There you go. That's where else you'll find um, that figure. The fifth and final one is Kingpin uh, with the uh, the thief trap safe. Mm, uh, that's these... not Kingpin. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not my Kingpin. Uh, hey, we got a question. <laughs> Time to do some uh, investigative journalism. Flash 739, was the Police Academy HQ a repaint of the real Ghostbusters uh, HQ? Uh, commonly thought yes, but the answer is no. Mm. Um, it's uh, It's a completely different... Uh, different play set, but next to each other, it's they look really great. So Similar, there you yeah. go, there you go. Um, okay, so Jake, you wanna you wanna go? Yeah. So I, I actually don't have that many things because I spent most of the last two weeks not buying toys, but in massing a collection of fourteen different copies of the same book. So I don't have a whole lot of toys here. <laughs> I did. Um, <laughs> I did finally get this from you, Craig. Thank you. Uh, the Anakin Skywalker Clone Wars uh, Black Series figure. Very I love cool. That. Nice. Um, something that I did pick up, I believe I got this in the same store uh, where you got the uh, Tracy the Gorilla. Yes. So this guy this guy had some uh, some Godzilla stuff, and I found just on the wall was this Godzilla Wars. Uh, this is from Trend Masters back in uh, 1994. Five, I believe it is um, when they were putting out figures it's still in the packaging but what caught my eye is that there's an autograph on the bubble here and and I don't know who it is and the guy didn't he was like I bought this collection I don't know whose autograph that is he said he thinks it's a females uh, I don't I sent this to JK and he didn't know so I'm gonna have to do some this was only this was like 20 bucks which is cheap for any Trend Masters Godzilla stuff. Uh, and it's got a signature on it. So I thought that was And Jake, cool. he doesn't know who it is? That's... Dude, I no. was... I, Jake, I didn't want to tell you this. I signed that as soon as I got to the store before you. It's my. It's, I, I autographed that. Well, you ruined it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Don't say it. Don't hey, we, we got to figure out who signed that. So like, maybe we should post a picture, get it in some I'm Godzilla groups it. and... Yeah, I'm gonna post it in some of the Godzilla groups. Do some research Cross here, check. some some Godzilla research. But there yeah, go. I gotta figure it out. By the way, Jason How cool Grosky, is that package though. Oh, it's awesome. It's those trim are some so of the, really cute. Um, this was this this image of uh, Godzilla and Space Godzilla here. When I I saw an ad for this in the back of a comic book, and it was the first time I'd ever saw. I didn't know who Space Godzilla was. This was the first image I saw of him, and when I saw that i was like what the fuck is this <laughs> i like my brain exploded when i saw that image so yeah i love mm-hmm. this hey real quick jason groski says he has larval jones and bullhorn uh or bullborn uh mint on card yeah i'm very interested so slide into those <laughs> dms sir um, jason i'll buy those from you oh uh, <laughs> I'm going to start a collection. <laughs> a, a you don't even spice. have to ship it. I'll come down to you and I'll pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Ryan Dolan. I'm here to undercut my friends. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Craig will eventually rebuy it from Ryan once he's sold this collection. <laughs> uh, Ryan, do you have anything this week? I do. It's in another room. I was going to wait for another week because uh, we've got a lot to tackle. All right. There. There's a lot to okay. tackle. Okay, Abigail. Yeah. Cool. Why yeah. don't you start going? Yeah, totally. Let me get it started since Ryan has opted out. This is a Jar Jar watch. I don't know where it's from, to be completely honest. It's like a um, probably McDonald's or Taco Bell. I don't know. Somebody knows. Somebody knows. Somebody knows. Burger uh, King, just, I think. Burger King? Yeah. I think so. I, w- I was about to say it looks like Burger King, but there's really no way of telling. It's just a very cool um, little piece that I found at... I don't know the name of the store, but it was in. Um, it was next to the antique it's wall. It's Elite Toys, about. yeah. Elite that's, Toys. That's where Jake got the Godzilla. Yeah, and it was one of those like never-ending spots, and they had a really big Star Wars section, um, just full of awesome stuff. Uh, Owen found this for me. Actually, it's the Hot Wheels, uh, the speeder from Star Wars. Very cute. Um, and then, let me jump in. This is the first thing I bought, so let me just start with this. Um, even though I've already done two things. This is a book called Movie Fantastic Beyond the Dream Machine. And I looked through it in its entirety on the way to Indiana in the car. It's just fantastic uh, kind of graphic images, a little bit of nudity in there. It's uh, mostly stuff oh. from like old horror movies and like stuff about like what inspired um, like the special effects, etc. It's it's absolutely like very stimulating stuff. Very interesting. Very cool. Very cool. Um, and after buying that. that. 
I had to pick this up, which is a special effects book, um, Starlog Photo Guide book, which I haven't looked through, and I'm very excited to look through this. I think this, to be honest, one of the stores. I'm not sure which one. One of the antique malls. That's from um, Days of the Dead, the, in, the dealer. My, my, my special trait is I know where everybody bought everything. Oh, yeah. We were at a convention, too. I remember that now. I'm like, it was mostly toys. Um, okay, cool. So I got VHS here. Let me do my stack. Uh, run through it quickly. Uh, did you give me the- toys? Yeah, Jake. I did. I'm just going to show them last. It's a buildup. All right. Godzilla vs. King uh, Ghidorah. <laughs> and I watched this um, for the first oh, time with Jake, and I watched it today. Actually, the tape is in my um, cassette player in the other room. Um, I've got Jaws the Revenge, um, which uh, just is fantastic and I don't own. So I'm happy to add that. To the shelf, uh, Masters of the Universe. Uh, didn't have that one. As soon as I saw it, had to pick it up. Watching that tonight. Uh, now, as I'm talking about these, I'm remembering at Days of the Dead, there was like just Rubbermaid bin after Rubbermaid bin at this one booth that had a ton of horror VHS. Yep. Um, and it, as our friend John Campo Piano said, he wanted to do a belly flop into those VHS tapes because it was just insane. Like, <laughs> I there would, was. I would love to see that. Ow. <laughs> Sounds painful. Yeah, I was like, I almost did. This is a Godzilla and Mothra: The Battle for Earth, which I've never seen. 1998, I think. Excited to watch that, and I've saved the best piece for last, which is uh, Beauty and the Beast on VHS, which I've never watched, and has Linda Hamilton and Ron Perlman. Very excited to dip into this steamy, steamy tape, which came with a probably printed autograph uh, from Ron Perlman. Yeah. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't, you don't have to scream your way through it. We got to set the stage. Well, since Ryan's withholding, I feel like I need to well, hurry. You know what? Oh, no, no. That, no. <laughs> that's not how this works. Okay. If I I'll, off I'll my slip. time, that means you can use Listen, my time. This VHS. Jessica Parker is here, which is awesome. I have something from her that I'm going to open that I haven't that I got in the mail. So. This VHS for Beauty and the Beast, the Ron Perlman and Linda Hamilton, it's got Jake's looking through all the stuff because Jake does this thing. Everybody buys stuff, and then he goes through everybody's stuff and gets mad about the other stuff that other people got. He's like, "Well, why didn't I get <laughs> that's that?" That's not what I do. Yeah, it's something like that. So he the, the VHS was sealed, and there's this gold foil sticker on it that says includes limited edition Ron Perlman autograph and me and jake are immediately like did we just strike gold Gold? like are we rich now um so abby opened it and of course it was just a pre-printed postcard but i still i still love it now is that just the is that like the pilot episode yeah what's on there because that's not a movie It's 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 a tv show is that just like the pilot just one episode Stop being hard. I'm trying to find out. Uh, it doesn't say on here on the back. Um, now it literally doesn't I, I gotta, say. I got a, just I got a very. Show. Oh no no no! I'm looking at two episodes. You got two episodes on this. Two episodes. Uh, related to that, but not toy related. A friend of mine today posted on Facebook in his memories. He found. Uh, he was at like a, a thrift store and he found a folder full of drawings and they were all like fan art for that movie <laughs> like sensual fan yeah. art and he, oh, and he had yes. posted all the photos and i was like i hope you bought that nice that's awesome i'm excited that. to dip a toe that into that great. world it's very up my alley should um let yeah. me do some rapid fire because i got a lot to go through um and don't go too fast i'm not gonna go too fast though okay so this came in while i was gone um this is the uh, first uh, one I've gotten from the Infinity Saga, Marvel Legends, Iron Man Mark III. Uh, incredible packaging, really cool figure. Uh, these were all revealed earlier this year, so I can't wait to dive in on this little guy. Um, cool. cool. Iron Man. Um, I also did pick up this uh, Batman Beyond McFarlane figure. Uh, found that at the old GameStop, so that was not part of the trip. Um, now, I'm really excited about this one. Because, Ryan, I, per- I don't think I told you about this. And this, this kind of goes into something you and I have been talking about wanting to get into lately. This is a mint inbox sealed He-Man 1989 shuttle pod. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah we did talk about these. I, and- <laughs> I think that vehicle kind of sucks, but I think you should get... But now that of you started, course, you have all to get these. I bought it for the box. I wish it was an empty box. I'm not gonna even look. Like, <laughs> Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I always get something for the box, but it's um, the uh, Nashville, you Tennessee. Get the you got that. Yes, this one was in Nashville. I'm trying to. Uh, I don't remember which store it was, but it was re- recommended to us by uh, Philip Clark, uh, so he can tell us. Um, 
Now, what's cool about this, just real quick, it's got uh, just cool stuff on it. It's got to add a $2 cash back coupon from Mattel stuck to it. Um, and then a 99 cent coupon for the He-Man special edition VHS. And then on the back, it has uh, that the the full advertisement for the VHS. So really cool. Um, that is very cool. I'm yeah. super stoked you got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I'll show off one more thing. And then we can uh, go back on the circle. I did pick up the uh, Parker. Uh, from the 40th anniversary. It was funny. We were at one store. They had this loose. And Hal was like, don't you need this? I was like, yeah, but I want it in package. And the next store just had it. And uh, a better price than what, <laughs> what's going on eBay right now. So, yep. Totally red. Cool. Toy House was one of the spots we went to. And then Throwback to- Throwbacks 2 was another one of the spots. Throwbacks was in Chattanooga. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Re- it's yeah. Replay. Replay Toys, I think. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, all right, Jake. Well, well, I finally got my, my favorite toy of the, of the weekend was... Uh, <laughs> was this guy the Craig Slimer? Craig, the Craig Slimer. Slimer. Um, yeah. No. Uh, so I did. <laughs> Jake opened so, it. Went, this is so fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I was just jealous that I don't have my own. Like, I, I know. Well, maybe if this? you got yeah, into that time machine from earlier, uh, hey, and went Jake. back to 1991 and entered the draw Slimer contest, you could get your own figure as well. Sorry. Go. <laughs> I'm jealous as well, Jake. As all I can say, I, I, I do. I do want to. I want to echo that thank you for uh, Jason Groski for the stuff he sent because I did take the uh, the Ewok the shampoo uh, full the shampoo and, and the reason I want to show this off I know Abby you showed this off last week or the two weeks ago but it's yours to show off now it's mine but on the trip I picked up the job of the hut that goes with it the shampoo uh, it, this one's empty but he just he's cute so. God it's I'm that's I'm I jealous of it. you for that. Hal and Jake almost. You should make a silicone mold of that and then make like chocolate Jabba's. Oh. <gasps> sure. Cream filled <laughs> chocolate Jabba's. That'd be awesome. Ooh, pre plasma Jabba's. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's actually marshmallow in the inside. I like that. I, like I got that. one more little set of things to show off. Three items that I bought together. Okay. These, these are the big ticket items. Okay. Been on my watch list for a while. Um,. And well, this is maybe one of the first. Sto- what store was that? This was a big. I'm pretty sure we this was this replay. Place. This was replay. Very big toy store. Lots of stuff. Um, I'll just show them off. So, All right, there you go. Uh, this is I, very exciting I, stuff. Yes, vintage Woo! time. So I got this vintage Wicket the Ewok teaching clock. Awesome. Um, yeah. This is cool. His hands are the hands of the clock and this moves and you know i think this was uh i don't think it was play school i think this was preschool stuff yeah yeah Yeah. i I like uh, ryan you cut out for a second what'd you say no you're good uh i like the ewok village on top yeah it's cool yeah it's very cool this is i've been looking at this it's also got uh all these like little clocks with wicket all over it i just i love this thing um, yeah kenner but preschool with, yeah with that i got the wicket telephone as well God, um i'm so mad that you have that. actually makes mm-hmm. calls mm-hmm. that's how jake dialed into the show who, who would wicket call i bet oh, he was trying oh, to get in leia's uh, he's, he's DMs. Gotta, yeah what, what's his wife's i don't know moment Anyway, this Can thing is e. very this thing's very cute. This thing's <laughs> very thing's cute. Awesome. I've been I've been watching this for a while. And um the the third item, third one. In in the trio, the third one is this wicket music box thing that plays uh you can't you probably can't hear it, but it plays like a music box version of the Star Wars theme. And it's beautiful, and I just want to fall asleep to it every night for the rest of my life. Those are three um, really cool items. I like welled up with tears mm-hmm. the first time I heard it. It's really <laughs> special. It's really it's, damn yeah, cool. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, good stuff. Good purchases. It was just one of those yep, things. I love where, them. Where, where Jake, you've been talking about wanting to collect this vintage Ewok and vintage Wicket stuff for a while. I like how Jake yeah. said we wouldn't be able to hear it, but now it's serenading us. Um, oh, can you hear it? Yeah, no, it's fine. Sorry. Um, it's, no, it's good. But to walk into a vintage store and actually see that stuff, that doesn't always happen like that. So it's very cool. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you was, know what else was, was left was... in that set? What's that? 
Like, do you know what else is left in that set? Oh, like, is there well, a whole, like... I mean, there's a lot of, yeah, there was a lot of that stuff. There was, you know, we actually saw in one of the stores, uh, an in package, like Ewok, um, like, a what was it like a cart or something that the Ewoks can carry and add a couple oh, yeah. of figures. Uh, I know there's, there's like oh, a kid's the, the, the fire like a kid's the, desk, the, the little fire, uh, it's, it's like a, a fire cart. cart. It's yeah, just yeah, like yeah, a yeah. cart. It goes with yeah. the it goes with the hut, the Ewok hut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, there, there's a there's a good it's bit like of a stuff, fire truck, but yeah. um, yeah. Well, damn. Celebration, was... man. Celebration in May. We'll have yeah. to do a big hunt. Oh, oh dude. Can't wait. Yeah. Uh, Abigail, what do you got? Okay. Good stuff, Jake. Uh, Thank well, you. Since Jessica Parker's here, I feel like I should open what she sent me without showing our address. Yeah. So surprise package. Yeah, Show I love it. surprise packages. We were just talking about how nice it is to get stuff in the mail when you're back from a trip and you're. Suffering from like post con depression. Um, so this is nice, and I'm gonna open it live. Uh, We're doing a live unboxing. Yeah, I feel like we should put some music on. Oh, J Key figured out the autograph. Oh, oh shit. shit. All, All right, right. Yeah, talk, tell, focus on that while I get this thing open. Please be Matthew Broderick. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he would just go and fuck Japanese. up merchandise like that? <laughs> Maybe if it was his day off. But dude, that movie do, wasn't do, out oh. when that toy came out. That's true. That's true. Um, Blue Chainsaw Man asked, how many Bill Murrays do I have? I think I have eight Bill Murray Funko Pops now. Um, I mainly like the hard plastic cases. It's very uh, it's very satisfying putting those in there. Uh, another update. Jake Key says, it is not a female. That's not- this is so exciting to find out who's okay. autographed this Collecting okay. Funkos for the cases is like... Jay, give us everything. The articles. <laughs> yeah, I read Playboy for the articles. I really do. Um... So Abby has a surprise package opening from Jessica Parker. Um, and there we have Jay Key. It is Tom Kitagawa, the millennium era Godzilla suit actor. Not a female. Not a female. Oh. So Jake, that's a very wow. cool piece. Very cool. Very All right, cool. Abigail, what do we got from Sebulba? Jessica? Oh my God. It's this, it's like a three piece set with Sabalba and Jar Jar and Annie. Oh, that's great. Power oh. of the four oh, or okay. episode Annie? one. Absolutely, my favorite. This is like this is the power trio, Holy Trinity. That's Very awesome. Cool. Thank you, Jessica. That's so cool. That's Good cool. Uh, I hope you have a place to put that. I wonder if I have like a prequels only shelf. <laughs> That's so. That's great. fucking awesome. Thank you so much. I've been getting so much. I should show the uh, the display piece that I got. Yeah, you should. Which is right here. How awesome is this? Um, Ooh, you can touch we per- Darth Maul. Yeah, you could. It's like it's amazing. Um, you can feel them. Uh, when we were buying this, the guy at the store was like, "Well, now that's like a really nice 3D display piece." And uh, so I, I paid like twenty five. Yeah, guess, that thing's this. cool. But it's honestly worth it. It's got it's a little cool. hook, and I can like just. I think I can grace my collection with this piece. I love it. Very cool. Yeah, Damn, it's I love go it so well with it. Thanks, Jessica. So appreciate y'all. Let me, uh, Ab. Why don't you show one or two more things? Okay. Or you can finish out. Hey, we'll here's finish. a toy. This is an actual toy. Uh, this is Tan Wee, uh, a Camino cloner from Attack of the Clones, which I found. Love it. Like, she just passed away on the Bad Batch, so I was like, I want to. Whoa! Okay. Spoiler alert! Oh, wow. spoilers! I know how upset you all are. <laughs> I know you all have been watching it. Uh, all right, this is another thing that Owen found that he pointed out uh, that I picked up: the Star Wars Episode One Phantom Menace read along tape. It's something I've seen in stores and have passed on, so I'm glad that I finally bought it because it's like inevitable very cool, uh, for very me cool. to own that. That's. Oh my god, we're about to do some like serious toys. I'm going to save the really good playset for last. Um, Spoiler. This is not a toy. This is a script. This is the Batman Forever script, which Jake found for me, and I was like, "Holy shit, that's awesome! It's going to be a great yeah. display piece." We're going to do a read through on. Uh, we're going to do a read through on Patreon. So. Ooh, I want to be oh. Two Face, please. Dude, I'll do sugar okay. and spice. There Can I go. be Robin? <laughs> that would be fun if we Somebody's actually hang out at a lot of so. biker bars, hey, Bruce. Wait a minute, we should do a Batman, Batman Forever read through yeah i'll be chase meridian that would be really Screw fun it. i'm gonna fly down and we're gonna recreate the movie oh <laughs> now we're talking nope. that would be awesome cool cool all right what else smoking some, some more cups from uh phantom menace <laughs> that would be smoking this is uh an et board game uh parker brothers board game based on the movie it has all the pieces and i'm very excited to pop it open and play with it Twitch channel s- starting up soon on e we're gonna play et I'm yeah not, dude i'm not playing that board games are not for me i'm actually not gonna open any of it because it's in really good condition and i'm gonna put it up with my other games and puzzles uh on top of my detox very over cool. there which are behind very cool uh, all right Love now here's it. the big piece here y'all um 
I'm Ooh. so so excited to to welcome this to my collection. We just did this movie on um, Watch Along. No, Patreon. So join Patreon if you want to hear us talk about it. Batman and Robin is not a great movie, <laughs> but it had some really cool toys. Uh, and this is the Cryo Freeze Chamber with Mr. Freeze. Uh, and you got Hold Robin. On. You got Batman. What's up? Hold on. I want to. I want to. I'm going to interrupt you for a second. Yeah, you can do that. We first of all, the toy is amazing. But we we did this uh, Patreon episode and it was torture. We hated yeah, it. We hated the movie. We hated talking about it. We were like all looking at our watches trying to get through it. I went we're to the store and bought store. a watch just to when we look were, at it. When we were in that toy store and yeah. the two of you found that, <laughs> it was it was almost <laughs> embarrassing the amount of noise both of you made. You guys were like, oh, they got, it was literally like two little kids finding... <laughs> Well, you listen, know, let me see I was wearing my sugar like, and spice what shirt the fuck from that is happening. Over. Listen, because the toys are cool for it that. It was movie. amazing. Listen, not only <laughs> can you get your Mr. Freeze figure, Batman and Robin, you can solve McGregor's disease while playing with your toys. You can save Alfred. <laughs> Diagnose. It's gonna be awesome. Dude, that's a that's a bathtub. That's their like that's Mr. Freeze's calm down chamber. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love it. I, I can't. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's. Uh, and let's it's all there in package too. I'm Great glad stuff. you sealed it. inside. It the box is open, um, but yeah. okay. I've got a couple more things, and uh, I'm not, I gotta save that one. Um, okay. okay. So this was a mega barge. This was an impromptu barge. I'm not gonna show it off right now because um, I haven't even gotten into it yet. But this is the. Whew, me and Jake had an argument about this. This is the let's Mondo One Twelve mm-hmm. Scale. Man at Arms, Masters of the Universe figures. They had two of the Mondo figures there. They had this and Merman. And Jake was like, why are you getting this over Merman? Merman is way cooler. Look at... And I finally figured... There's a main difference between Jake and I. Jake likes creatures. I like people. It's just a fundamental fact. And neither of you like Yeah, uh, but you get Man at Arms, you're pretty much buying, like, me, Jake, and Hal. <laughs> Mixed <laughs> yes. myself, yeah. Jake, and Hal, and you get Man at Arms. It was just weird because, like, Man at Arms, he's just, I, even on my limited knowledge of Master of the Universe, I was like, this is the stupidest looking character out of all these toys. And then we, we open up this merman figure, and I was like, this is beautiful and craig's like no i want i want the guy with the mustache (laughs) you know what happened was was, there was a split there was a split second and craig could tell you that like i was like well maybe i'll buy (laughs) merman so this is what happened let me give context this was near the end of the trip a couple days earlier at the um uh, or the day before in Tennessee, we were at the, I think Replay Toys had a bunch of sideshow stuff and a bunch of, uh, you know, a bunch of statues and, and Mondo type figures and stuff like that. And uh, they had a man at arms on display and it looked so good. And I was like, whoa, I haven't seen these Mondo Hot Toys style <laughs> figures. Like, it fucking look great. And then Hal, while we're there, buys a Mondo Creature from the Black Lagoon 112 scale figure. So it was put in my head. I didn't even know it was going to be... It's like ca- when the dessert cart rolls out through the restaurant. Yeah. And you're like, I need that later. I didn't know I was going to need it. I didn't know. I can't wait to open this. It's so many accessories. It's so good. Okay. Um, I got one more thing that I'm not going to show till later. Uh, but real quick, before I left, I did uh, pick up the Masters of the Universe Revelation figures, so I'll just show this off real quick. Uh, Moss Man and Skeletor uh, still in the package. Haven't opened those up. And then I also have He-Man and uh... what's her name? Evelyn. Don't worry. Can't reach them. It's fine. Revelation figures are all hitting Walmart and target and revelation starts i believe this upcoming week friday so it's exciting yeah there you go there you go um real quick jake i'm gonna go back to you super chat (sighs) jakey this episode of toy anxiety is brought to you by yhs on monster island new episode dropped today let's orthogonally diagonalize orthogonally (laughs) diagonalize yeah that those words those nice Um, Organically. Polysyllabic words. Um, it's from the newest episode. 
Jay Key's a wordsmith. Thank you, thank you, Jay. He you is. don't have to do that, but we appreciate you. We do. It's awesome. And thank you to all the people, Jessica and Tony, and people who yeah. send us stuff, and, and to all the cool toy stores we went to. Um, and w- obviously, next week is our one year anniversary, so we'll have more more to talk about, more to show off, and. I think we got some exciting stuff ahead uh, in, the, in, the, in the coming days and weeks. So, um, who take a deep breath. There's a lot of news to get through. Abigail, what's going on in the chat? Uh, Jessica Parker is excited. Jedi3671 says he just picked up Moss Man. Um, nice. Ah, I, was, I remember that moment when you saw those. It was a, it was a good thing. It was great. In store. It was great. I went, hey, we're about to go on a trip. I don't need to be spending money. Getting all four Boom. of these. <laughs> It's a good way to start the trip, though, yeah. Um, okay, so here's the deal. There's been a lot of news over the last couple of weeks. I, I kind of sorted out what I felt were the top six or seven uh, news pieces. Uh, we've got some awesome discussion ahead, so everybody strap in, uh, get a snack, get something to drink. If you have any questions, if you want us to tackle anything specifically, if you want to offer your thoughts and opinions, put them in the chat, and we're going to get to it. So are we ready? A lot. Put them in the shoe yeah. line. Put him in the shoe Put line. Put him in the shoe line. Put him in the shoe line, shoe line. <laughs> if you only knew. Um, okay. So we're going to start off with, like I mentioned earlier, we're on the way. Marvel, Hasbro, Fan First Friday. The big reveal. Not not a surprising reveal. I wasn't surprised. Ryan, were you surprised? <laughs> no. <laughs> So, it is the new HasLab, the crowdfunded project, teased for the last couple months that it was going to be Fantastic Four related, and it is not a one-to-one scale Silver Surfer statue, uh, because that would be ridiculous. Uh, From although, Rise of the Silver Surfer. <laughs> From Rise of the Silver Surfer. I feel like there's a comic book shop in like Orlando that has that. There's no. five of them <laughs> that have that. <laughs> <laughs> it is the Galactus <laughs> HasLab... Now, we're going to get into it. 32 inches tall, 70 points of articulation, 45 days to fund it. Needs 14,000 to back it, and they are teasing some uh, some unlockables, some stretch goals. It's currently just over 8,000, so it really seems like they're going to hit their goal. Uh, but, Ryan, I'll, I'll throw to you first. You're, you're the longtime Marvel Legends collector and comic book fan. Uh, give me your impressions of Galactus here. It's a. This is like the greatest toy ever made it's pretty amazing i am not ordering it uh but it's beautiful and i think they're gonna have some awesome stretch goals they're already teasing some of them i love the light up eyes i love the light up heads what do you mean you're not ordering it (laughs) dude i don't have space for it that thing is the size of a (laughs) two-year-old Well, do you have a like two-year-old? I, <laughs> Can you get rid of a no, two-year-old? No, I have a, yeah. then you I have have a toddler the space. coming named a Sentinel. Okay. Okay. <laughs> right? Yeah, it could be like I don't have. I don't have. Yeah, I don't have. I don't have the space for this Galactus, and okay. it, it does Canada, break my heart. Canada's not big it, enough but, for a Galactus. No, Listen, my place is not big enough. If we, we were, a, if we were the Ghostbusters we community, we would we would start a GoFundMe to help Ryan get a Galactus. Uh, for because oh, hey, it'll help the community. Let's, fan community. Listen, let's <laughs> all buy Ryan a Galactus, but we got to make sure we get a plaque made with our names on it. I gotta <laughs> yeah. see my name on the plaque. The what, what would it be called? The the the, the Galactus. The, go, the Galactus gang. Galactus gang. Galactus. The yeah. Galactites. Oh, uh, <laughs> fucking bullshit. Okay. Um. So this thing's incredible. But I, I do want to point out though that it actually got more. Uh, backers than uh than the sentinel did in the least in less amount of time did that make sense so it was actually yeah the there's only supposed to be seven thousand six thousand backers for the sentinel for it to get made and it made six thousand in less than 24 hours okay gotcha very cool so, yeah you know i was kind of surprised as we scroll through the pictures here and if and all the details are on hasbro pulse if anybody wants to uh mm-hmm. learn more about this um I was a little bit surprised at the timing. You know, fourteen thousand at four hundred dollars a piece is that's a lot. Um, I, I was surprised for two reasons that they revealed it now. One, there are every toy company is putting out so much right now. So Hasbro is in direct competition with Super Seven, who's releasing stuff. Other Hasbro lines, you know, NECA, 
all the Comic Con exclusives. So th- this is a very crowded time to be doing this, and also they haven't delivered the Sentinel yet. So I could see people, you know, you dropped three hundred fifty, four hundred dollars on the Sentinel last year, and now they're asking you to drop another four hundred dollars. Like that's a lot of money to have tied up in toys. That haven't well, been especially delivered when they're yet. dropping a new wave every what three weeks, right? If you just want to have money to buy the regular figures too, um, and uh, yeah, we're going to talk about the Star Wars Haslab stuff too. People kind of have to make decisions. So, uh, Jake, what uh, what do you think about the uh, Galactus? Yeah, I I think he looks great, man. I was a little annoyed that they. I don't know why this always happens with not not just toy reveals, but anything. You know, they, they talk about revealing the HasLab and we're going to do a panel at whatever, one o'clock and show off the thing. But then they show pictures of it two yeah. hours earlier. And I'm like, why the fuck do you do that? <laughs> yeah, we already knew it was going to be Galactus, but chill the fuck out. Um, <laughs> it's beautiful. It's a beautiful figure. It's a beautiful figure and I want it. I don't know that I'm going to be able to just drop $400 in the next right. month on it. But right. I but I do really want it. Well. We'll see how it goes. I'm hoping maybe just Hal will buy it, and I'll buy his uh, as I'm doing You're on the Hal uh, plan. his okay. Sentinel. Got cool, it. Cool, I'm cool. on that. I'm on the Hal plan. payment plan. I'm on the Hal <laughs> payment plan. So. so I I didn't get the Sentinel, and I wasn't buying any Marvel Legends um, at the time. And everybody knows I've got a pretty strict rule of MCU only. Um, That's not strict. I mean, You've I've already been bought like a comic book Iron Man. You, <laughs> dude, you're. Don't Every, fucking lie to me. Everyone Just knows that when you though. say you have a strict rule, you break so, it. So, of course, as soon as they reveal the Galactus over the weekend, I, I couldn't help but giving myself a little bit of inspiration with this Fantastic Four <laughs> Marvel's <laughs> thing. Dude. Craig knows absolutely nothing about the Fantastic Four or Gal- he's That's like, Michael Chiklis. On, he's like, Michael Chiklis. He's like, who are- He's like asking me Fantastic Four oh. shit all the time over the. I'm just like you don't know anything. It's so yeah, you got funny. Super I love Stretch it. Man, his Bay, uh, uh-huh. Chris Evans, and uh, Michael Chiklis. You got uh, Mister Incredible. You got Elastigirl. Sue Storm. Tony Taylor super chat. I want my name on the Galactus for Ryan Plack. Listen, <laughs> if everybody, I think we're calling it the Plactus. We're the this Plactus. is what we'll do. Galactus. We're. I I will not let. Jake and Ryan not get Galacticize. Galactize. If I get Galacticize, one. We're all, it sounds we're, like <laughs> we're having our own bar mitzvah. We're get gonna get Galacticized. <laughs> You're Galacticizfa. <laughs> um, so. It sounds dangerous. Uh, no, it's incredible. I think that thing's really cool. And, and whether or not I end up yeah. get, getting one is, is up in the air. There's a whole lot. No, it's lot inevitable. Of, You're getting it. I can totally inevitable. tell. If something's going to happen next month. Though I do think that Patrick from Star Wars, I think he tried to sabotage the Galactus. I think he knew the Galactus <laughs> oh, was going to do well, so he's shit. like, "Oh, is that I'm gonna what happened?" Drop, I'm going to drop. He's going to how... drop what the what the Haslab is for the Black Series, and he's like, "That derail Marvel." Steal the thunder. He's trying to spin it to his. That's how he's trying to spin it to his boss, at least. So let's talk so about right. it. He's like, "I got him." So Hasbro's uh, Star Wars team from time to time does um, these these fan site Q and A interviews, and our good friend and YHS contributor and and Midnight Mando uh, contributor uh, Jake Stevens from Four Lomb Zuckus, he always gets to participate, and he always asks great questions, and uh, 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 yeah, it's it's great. And during the court, and he always records the session and uploads it immediately and during his thing five minutes in patrick from who's the brand manager for star wars slipped when talking about has labs and let it he slipped and said it's going to be a rancor now a lot of people were guessing that's what it was going to be it wasn't the most shocking thing in the world uh but he wasn't supposed to reveal it especially two days before they're going to do the galactus reveal so it blew up really quickly (laughs) Which was really funny. But now funny. that makes fans decide, right? Because now fans are probably going, I'd get that Galactus, but mm-hmm. I got to save up and get that Rancor. I'm not 100% right? so surprised that somebody with some association to YHS is part of the reason why yeah, StarWars.com had to do an impromptu article saying it's going to be the Rancor, I guess. 
Um, yeah, I blame YHS. Blame YHS. I, I, well, we, we, Jake's great. Jake Stevens Jake's is awesome. Spoiler <laughs> Jake the Spoiler Jake, Stevens. Jake's gross music. Um, <laughs> we, we, we'll talk more about the Rancor once it's actually revealed Absolutely. and stuff. But, I, I mean, Jake, what do you think? That's pretty exciting, right? Yeah, I mean, we uh, we'd already kind of talked about it. I think it'd be cool. I'm excited to see what it is. What are I, I'm I'm kind of wondering what the scale is going to be like on that thing. What is it going to come, come with, with? Like an Ula and a Luke? It's got to come a... with something. I think it's got to mm. come with some stuff. I want I want you know Jabba, and I want the the throne, and I want you know the Max Rebo band. Give me all of it. Mm-hmm. Give me a big. Give me the first twenty minutes of Return of the Jedi in a box. Yes. That's what I want. Okay. Um, yeah. But but sure. we'll we'll have more information. That's reasonable. That. Yeah, we'll we'll have more on that. And I I have a feeling they're gonna they're gonna wait maybe a month or two before they reveal it. And I I re- I hope pa- Patrick seems like a really great guy, and I, I hope he didn't get like in, in serious trouble or anything. I hope everyone's given him like a hard time, like. Oh, you got a big secret? Don't tell Patrick. Or, uh, hey, guys, we just slashed Patrick's tires or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the group messages are going. Oh, insane. dude. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, sure. You could see it in his face, too. The moment he said it, it was just like, you, you see his cheeks turn a little red, and he's just like looking yeah. side to side Roll and down tape. on his phone like, oh. It's you the sad it. Ben Affleck. Like, it's like Ralph Wiggum. You can pinpoint the heartbreak. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> um, He's gonna go hang out in the sad comments now. He is. He is. So, uh, so that's exciting though that that's that you know that that's happening and, mm-hmm. and it'll be great. Um, I can't right, wait so, for the big video reveal for it. Yeah. I, even though we know what it is, check out the rancor. Nobody saw this coming. They they need to lean into it like a surprise <laughs> that nobody knew about. The toy nowhere. industry's greatest kept secret. <laughs> Black Series Rank. They should do that. Um uh, and have like the unsolved mysteries like <laughs> Patrick, he's like bl- dark out with like a lower voice. It's not that I wanted to reveal it. It's just that okay. I don't know. That's funny. <laughs> just, All right. That's funny. Uh, yeah, we like it. Let's uh, let's talk some NECA TMNT. This was the big news yesterday. They've got a bunch of exclusives, um, and I specifically wanted to talk about the the TMNT animated exclusive, which goes on sale uh, in limited quantities. It's going to be available on Target, and then they're doing the bundle on Target uh, or on NECA's website. So this is the Catwoman from on Friday, Chan- by the way. I think it's Thursday, actually. Is it Thursday? It's the twenty second. Yeah. Um, I don't know what day is what anymore. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. fine. So just you know, stay stay updated if this is something you're going to stay get. diligent, folks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's pre orders happening everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the Catwoman from Hell. No, the Catwoman from Channel Six uh, box set. Uh, this is cool. Uh, I've seen some some. <laughs> we're gonna get into some sad comments. Uh, later yeah um this one was a heavy hitter in the set comments yeah but our, our our good buddy trevor from neca w- did the panel and, and they did a bunch of reveals and, and this was one of them so um i i collect the animated team and t line so you got uh uh <laughs> you got Vern and you got uh irma and april there and it's just a cool set it's got all these cameras and spotlights uh ryan what, what do you think of this that's such a cool set. I love that it comes with cameras mm-hmm. and lights and the boomstick. I, it, everything just looks really, it's just cool. If you like mm-hmm. your, if you like to set up play sets, I think it's, it's very much made for toy photography. Yeah. And, for sure. and yeah. like, it's definitely kept in mind. I think that's why I like those like accessories, but yeah, I, I love it. I think it's great. Yeah. So the bundle, you know, they did the bundle. Abby, you've got the shirt on from last year, mm-hmm. the musical mm-hmm. munition tour. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a bundle that's going to go on sale on NECA.com. You get the poster, the shirt, the press badge, and the enamel pin. Um, yeah. Jake, the shirt what, is much better than last year's. Um, <laughs> no offense, Abby. Um, and then... Uh, <laughs> the shirt. Um, I chose the shirt. The inside of the box, you can kind of make a diorama, and I, I think that's really cool. Uh, Jake, what, what's your opinion of this? I think if you collect the animated... Uh, line this is a great set i i was kind of bummed out but also excited because i was bummed because i don't collect the animated 
uh, series figures. So I was like, oh man, I was like, kind of part of me is like kind of hoping for a, a, a movie related four set or something. But then I was like excited that I don't have to pay like $175 for this thing. Um, and deal with the, it looks great. It looks the, great, but the animated stuff, I just don't really, uh, I'm super, super like, I, I have a few. But I'm really picky with those. But I think this set looks great. I, I kind of want to get it, though, just for uh, the eventual um, Toy Anxiety play set that we put together. We're going to need those lights and those cameras. For yes, sure. Jake. Yes, that's what I was going to say. The, ex- the accessory pack is awesome. I, I love seeing the lights. Because you could take those out and like mix them up. I know you don't like mixing things up. But I feel like it would be great to like put those light stands in the camera and like make sets and do other things. Kind of mix it up. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, so NECA had a bunch of reveals. Um, I, I don't know how detailed we want to get on everything. We can kind of keep talking about TMNT, but like fast track it. Go, yeah, I'm not going to go through everything. I'll just kind of mention there's some new gremlin stuff coming. There's some new alien stuff coming. Um, they teased uh, some jaw stuff before before the panel. Um, so there's just a ton. I mean, NECA is and this is just the next couple months. Um, but one thing I wanted to highlight, because I wanted to get everybody's opinion on a couple of these Ninja Turtles items that have been revealed. Um, and also, uh, as, as usual, we are using Toy Arc for our, uh, our, our recap here. So we have our first look at the unmasked Casey Jones. Ryan, what do you think? Sexy. That's a good figure, right? Mm-hmm. It's a great yeah. figure. Great sculpt. Love that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll kind of scroll through here. Uh, and, and everybody- whoa, 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 wait, wait. We can't just like skip by here. We have to talk. We have to ask Jake. Because Jake's, as far as I'm concerned, and no offense to Craig, I think to me, when I think of Ninja Turtles the movie, I actually think of Jake. Because Jake okay. talks a he lot like about it. the movie. Yes. He likes it a lot. Thank you. Thank you. I think it looks great, man. I think it's got a really great uh, likeness. Uh, I'm, I'm glad they were able to to make that deal uh, and put out another Casey Jones figure. Yep. I'm, I'm happy for all the movie stuff that's coming. Yep. Oh, there's Trevor. Hey. What's up, Trevor? What, Why hey, is he we told every, we told everybody we were getting Trevor on. Yep, and there, there he is. is. There, this is there it. He is. <laughs> not saying a damn thing. You're What's welcome. Right? He'll be on soon. We'll, we'll make it happen. Yeah. Um, so this is a look at the ultimate packaging for Casey Jones. Um, now, what about that young... I, I want the young Weird Al figure that's also shown in this image <laughs> there's a lot of people who noticed that uh, uh i don't know the gentleman's name who works in that but he does have a resemblance i think it's on purpose you don't just have that he looks mustache like of those he looks like young that's young weird al when he had yeah. shorter hair that's yeah. another one rides the bus weird al <laughs> exactly <laughs> that's great um so uh yeah, this is going to be at Walmart, so good luck. And uh, now we've, we've also got our first look at the TMNT2 uh, regular shredder, uh, which you know, he's got the purple outfit and that really crazy pattern, uh, soft goods cape. They, they talked in detail about going to the reference photos to uh, you know figure out what the hell was going on there. Uh, I really like this a lot. I think this looks great. Mm-hmm. I like the to picture me- with the mask off. Yep. Yeah. To, to, to me, out of all the out of all the turtle stuff they revealed, I think this is my favorite. Oh, it comes with dandelions. <laughs> dandelions. <laughs> I love that. Um, yeah, I mean it's great. Uh, uh, we all have a soft spot for uh, Secret of the Use, so um, yeah. yeah. It's that purple. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. great. And look at that. Mm-hmm. The uh, the uh, you know. Now I'm surprised we even got this figure <laughs> because I don't know if you guys remember. He did a half gator into the back of a garbage truck. Um, <laughs> I remember. As told by Raphael. So, okay. This is the one I wanted to talk about. We're getting another Super Shredder repaint. And listen, this, the, the Super Shredder figure is amazing, but do we need to buy a third one? Yeah, because I didn't get no. the first one. <laughs> okay. There you yeah, go. but this one is, but this one's different. Like the spines on his, like his belt is different. Yeah. Uh, and it's not like what it looks like. And the, they just kind of did their own thing. Like an interpretation, some, like, em- right? They added some embellishments like to the, it. 
I'm it looks not, like the cross between the movie and the Playmates version. Yep, yep, they said that. Well, um, he he kind of he kind of mentioned that it almost like sort of looks like a wrestling belt, which is a little bit of a reference to you know uh, Kevin Nash, Kevin Nash okay. which which that's cool. But it's like I already got two Super Shredder figures. If I if I see that in a store, probably gonna pick it up. But it's not something I'm gonna like be right. on the hunt for. Uh, Trevor talked a little bit about how they're going to be uh, going back to the Mirage comic series, and they did this tease. Um, Fugitoid. For, yeah, for Fugitoid, which is which is really cool. And, uh, yeah, and then we can just kind of scroll through some of the... Um... Sorry, can we go back uh, just for yeah, one yeah, yeah. quick second? Sure. I just want to do my own quick sad comment <laughs> yeah. and uh, yeah. just say I wish they would stop going back to the Mirage well and just start doing the more current stuff or the archie comics yeah the modern uh, stuff. yeah please it's so fucking good just make those toys okay right. go there you go sad comment mm-hmm. and then uh, a look at some of the new animated two packs some of the stuff had been revealed or uh, before uh muck man and uh yeah just overall the line's great and if you're a completist then there's lots of money to be spending uh it's kind of crazy. Dirtbag so, looks so freaking cool. Dirtbag looks yes. really cool. Um, yeah, so, and and listen, we, we kind of got the vibe, and I'll kind of X out there. Um, they, they did do a tease at the end. I'll try to find it real quick um, of this, which kind of got everybody going. Uh, animated Toka and Razar seem to be coming. Uh, yeah. which is I didn't those. even know they were in the cartoon. I think they're in there yeah. maybe like one you, episode. You should mm. you should look it up yeah. because you should look it up because they talk in the cartoon and their voices are so weird. Look up you go YouTube animated Toka and Razar. I I will buy those. Yeah, and also they cut they Trevor did a little sly like, "Hey, maybe next year we'll do a three pack." And you know that has to be Hot Rod and Teenagers from Ooh. Dimension X. <gasps> Which are the ones oh, I really want. Yeah, okay. I would get those. <laughs> I would totally get those. Yeah. Dude, they're just peace love and they're anti war and uh How come you three haven't cruising. done the neutrinos for Dragon Con? We are now. We are yeah. right now. It's on the list. We got like, that always kind of like <laughs> shocked me. I was like, what the what are these three? Nobody doing? wants middle aged neutrinos. Nobody wants a thirty uh, seven year neutrino. <laughs> Hey, Daddy. I 100%. Hey, hey, Daddy. Oh, da. Now, you know where I get a cigarette? <laughs> um, so, um, all right, let's let's move on because there's, there's more to talk about, folks. Revealed today, I put a challenge up to the true fans. Look at Why that. is this a challenge to the true fans? Sorry, I have to know. What, what, like, is this a true fans of meme culture or true fans of the X-Men? I think if you're an animated 90s X-Men fan and you see the Mondo 1-6 scale X-Men animated Wolverine SDCC exclusive and pass on it, I question your fandom. Okay. Okay. I'm passing. I'll buy that. I'll buy that. (laughs) I think it's cute. (laughs) It is really cool. I'm just kidding. It's, it's very expensive. And if you don't collect this scale, then you might, you might want to pass. But, uh, uh, Ryan, I do want to get your opinion of it though. Fucking love it. I love it (laughs) so much. I love that he's on a bed and he's being a little bitch and he's thinking about Scott. I'm pretty sure he's thinking about Scott and not Gene. <laughs> I love that he. I love that he does like uh, yes. the. They have the, it comes with the sparks from the claws from the opening titles. Yeah, I love that it I comes that. with a morph head. I love that it comes with a chicken wing. This figure is everything. It's got pouty, sulky face. Look at that, fuck, dude. Go to therapy. This is fucking great. And I love that he has like he's happy. Like it's just, it's just, it is actually, as far as I'm concerned, this is the ultimate Wolverine animated '90s figure. And if you're gonna, yeah. and if I, if I didn't read comics and I was just a muggle like Craig, and I closed my eyes and said, think of a Wolverine that's not Hugh Jackman. That's what you're gonna think about. And I. I love it. I think this is, I think it's great. And this is like, and what sucks about it though, is that it's such a rad, awesome, funny package that uh, you don't want to take it out and use all the cool accessories it comes with. Right. Mm-hmm. So you have to, to buy two. You that have to buy two. So uh, the Jake. real fans have to buy two. <laughs> Jake, what do you think? I, I mean, I can't say anything that Ryan didn't just say. It's a, it's a beautiful figure. How, what's the price point on that? I think two hundred. Two hundred bucks. Yep. Yeah, it's not bad. I think so. six hundred Canadian. 
Um, <laughs> move, moving on. Wolverine. Uh, we got our a couple Star Wars uh, Hasbro PulseCon exclusives. These are not on sale as of yet. The first one being the Black Series Power of the Force Cantina Showdown. How cool is this? Mm-hmm. I know people you are saying... You gotta buy two, though. I don't like you. Gotta buy two. Uh, I, you have to buy two because this falls into the same category as um, what we were just talking about where... Where's the damn packaging? Hold on. Hold on. They gotta show <laughs> it at some point. 3,000 pictures on Hasbro Pulse. Well, I'm gonna get to it. Uh, you get Obi-Wan... <laughs> And you get <laughs> one uh, eternity later. <laughs> just the same picture. This is ridiculous, there. right? Yeah. Maybe it's not yeah. on here. This is silly. <laughs> it keeps going back to them at the bar, and yeah. it's making me giggle. They're like, "Did you know they're at the bar? Did you know? Did you, Did know? you know?" And they went back to the bar. That? It's like a story. Oh my god! Wow, Jake, okay. the spoiler okay. Stevens is the, in the comments. The 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 selling point is the goddamn packaging, and they don't have a picture of it. Well, anyways, by the way. This is two of these sets put together. This is not, you only get half of what's shown in this picture oh, right here. Oh, that's not fair. Um, but, anyways, I, I'm super excited about this. Uh, anytime you can get a six inch scale little play set, that's, that's really cool. So, uh, Ryan, what'd you think? I, it's, dude, it hits all the right nostalgia buttons. That's a cool display. Even if you just get the one and you only have the half bar, I think it still looks really cool. Uh, that's, it's kind of funny. I think that's what I predicted the um the haslab to be yeah originally uh, jake stevens is asking cantina. us about well, jake we covered the we covered your your whole thing earlier the uh the leaky slip. stevens leaky leaky leaky, stevens. leaky patrick uh yeah <laughs> i don't know leakins stevens <laughs> we blame Dang. ourselves for that also because of your affiliation with yhs yes we take the blame yes that would have never happened although it really was just all Patrick's fault. <laughs> um, we also got this uh, Trapper Wolf uh, exclusive. By the way, this is how bad of a uh, Star Wars fan I am. When it, that was, there, like, I was like, "Oh, they're making a Trapper Wolf. That's cool." And in my head, I was like, "Who is that?" Like, I couldn't even. I was like, "Is that like, uh, is that like Porkins or something?" Uh, but no, this is the the Dave Filoni character from the Mandalorian is getting a uh, mm-hmm. an exclusive and uh, very cool. Mm-hmm. I, I like it a lot. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Yeah. It's a must-have. I mean, we all need a Dave Filoni in our collection. He saved Star Wars. Absolutely. He's from the clutches the savior. of Catherine Kennedy, who's been fired. <laughs> Catherine times. Kennedy from YouTube? <laughs> Catherine Kennedy. <laughs> our last uh, PulseCon exclusive that was revealed is the Emperor's Throne Room. Um, this is a pass for me. Packaging's cool, but I don't... Packaging's great. I don't think I need this one either. I no. As much as I love juniors uh black series juniors i like and this is a cool emperor i already have a really cool emperor with soft goods and he's looks really rad i don't know just i don't yeah the play sets i don't know just yeah. no no i'm good jake how about you no i mean it looks cool though i like that little back it comes with that like window port thing as well yep or just the throne like that no looks it comes cool. with all that I, I, I like that. I mean, I'm not going to buy it, but that's cool. So these will all be yeah. PulseCon exclusives. Um, so we, we got some time. Uh, that's not going to be, I think, till September. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's move on here, folks. Mm-hmm. Jake, we're driving yeah, in, in the back of the fucking car right here. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so jake tell me about this mezco five points xl mothra oh, and mothra geez. twins um, i mean this thing the the reason i had to have this immediately is there's there's a couple things that are special about this mothra one is that it's gonna it's gonna go with the other mezco mezco released a uh, destroy all monsters set while we were at like galaxy's edge a couple months ago and i had oh, yeah. to buy it's like two sets of four figures and Mothra in her moth winged form is not in that movie. So this is in scale with those figures. Um, you don't get a whole lot of the Shobin, the twins, like you don't, there's not a lot of figures of them. Mm-hmm. So it's cool that you get, it's cool that you get the twins. It's also flopped. I had oh. to buy this. Whoa. Ryan. Oh, oh dude. What? what you, Ryan. Ex- I've seen this movie. On. I want it real quick. Ryan. Picture, 
Paint me a picture of the scene of of what it's like for when Jake gets this delivered, the flocked Mothra in the mail. <laughs> when that flock, it's going to be really. F- I feel bad for anyone at the post office because <laughs> as that goes from Mezco to Jake, it's just going to spread a seed, it's a like hard a- flocked seed, and everyone's going to get pregnant along the way. <laughs> oh my god! Because that's how potent a good yeah. flocked figure is, and this figure being premium and just being such a beautiful toy there's gonna be like a lineup of women at jake's door he's not gonna mm. understand why <laughs> but they're gonna be there for that flock they're yeah. gonna be like let me see your flock and you're gonna be like hey hey, hey. I'm like, yeah i'm gonna be like get the <laughs> fuck out of my way give me my toy <laughs> <laughs> yeah i would like the idea of like an opening sequence like they always do in like the at least the recent godzilla movies where like they track godzilla yeah like i want to see it this moving towards jake's house for like the inevitable <laughs> I, I like the idea of arrival <laughs> jake gets a delivery notice and then the he thinks he's getting a package and then the mailman just drives by being a flock tease Ooh. <laughs> oh don't flock block no <laughs> <laughs> he wakes up. There's a bunch of baskets with babies in there on his lawn. He's like, what the hell is this? He's like, this is your fault. Uh-huh. Those are going on eBay immediately. <laughs> <laughs> eBaby. <laughs> eBaby. Look at those baskets. Oh, oh, eBaby's oh, something um, All right, so let's let's round out the news with a couple uh, last things here. Uh, won't spend too much time on this, but this was the the, the big announcement that we discussed. What the the rumored the thing that was going to break the internet, and for some people it did. If you like GI Joe, the thought of these animated style GI Joe Ultimates is pretty damn cool. Duke, Cobra Commander, Snake Eyes, and Bat. A bat. A bat. Yeah. Thanks, Craig. Um, uh, these are great. I, I think these are so awesome. And uh, it's a good time to be a G.I. Joe collector, uh, except for the fact that the new movie is getting horrible reviews. It's probably, <laughs> probably going to bomb real bad. Oh, uh, but come on. I, How, we're were you expecting it. it to have like groundbreaking reviews? I don't know, I man. It would be like, life-changing. I don't know. Um, but I think it's going to be fun. I think a lot of the hardcore fans don't care about the movie. They just want the 80s cartoon, and, and that's what they want. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Go order them. They're on sale. I, I think these are great. They're super colorful and fun. Uh, different- no, uh, no foreskin cocoa, only helmet. <laughs> yeah, what's the deal? They're, they're, there's some controversy about that, that they're not going to do the hood anymore, um, and people are upset. But I can't imagine a toy collector being upset about something. <laughs> I've never. Yeah, yeah that's that's unlike the toy community at all. Um, yeah, I, I, they're different enough from classified. Like, I was kind of wondering, like, hey, you know, is it really? If you are buying all the classified figures, do you need this? But it's like clearly they're based on the original cartoon. It's it's a different it's a different thing. So, uh, I don't know. I, I like them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, like I them think they're fine as is. Yeah, yep. there you go. Yep. Um, Pork chop sandwiches. How are we going to broker the deal between Super Seven? And Ghostbusters to get that to happen at some point. Like, look, like just they got to be working on it. Yeah, we had a legit. Hey, discussion Eric, about this. if you're listening, uh, look at make this. it happen. Look at these figures and tell me you don't want real Ghostbusters versions of this. Uh, dude, I want real. Yeah, I want that, and I want NECA to do ones of all the cartoon characters. I want them to do what they're. I want. Let's face it. We this is what us as Ghostbusters fans talk about. We've mentioned this, I think, more than once on the show. NECA to do what they're doing with Turtles, but with Ghostbusters, where it's like we get the 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 guys and All the, the original ghosts from ghosts. the cartoon. Yeah. Yep. And then the ultimate ones would be the Kenner Based on the original toys, Just, too. Yeah. Something. We're gonna make it happen. We're gonna make it happen. Um I, I can't make any promises, but uh, I'm gonna I will. Fright Features Ultimates would be Listen, we, we're doing what we can. We got to get through this period, right? Hasbro's about, we're about to have an onslaught of Ghostbusters toys from Hasbro. Obviously, all those listings are hitting Walmart. We're not even going to get into it tonight because there's just not enough time. And I have a feeling we're going to be talking about Ghostbusters a lot over the next couple months. So, um, last piece of news, and then we're going to get to sad comments. By the way, thanks everybody for hanging out. We had a lot of people watching. Yeah. This has been a lot of fun tonight. 
Make sure that if this is your first time, subscribe, tell a friend, spread the word, mm-hmm. and uh, leave a comment. Watch Monster Island. Mm-hmm. There you go. There and you watch go. the Bad Batch on uh, whenever we decide. <laughs> whenever we decide to do it again, subscribe be there for and it. you'll see the alerts when we get back from vacation. Find... Hey, by the way, that we'll was actually you. the last piece of news that I that I had. So if there's anything that we didn't get to, uh, we can we can pick it up next week. Uh, but I think we're yep. And leave it in the comments as well uh, when this drops. Leave it in the comments if there's mm-hmm. anything that we haven't talked about that can you want I, us to I talk just, about and yeah we'll talk mm-hmm. about i just want i i know i know we jumped through all that NECA stuff really quickly but i just want to say like i know you said that there there's more gremlins coming out but i just feel like i have to say that the gremlin stuff is finally more gremlins 2 reveals they're yeah. moving on from there's been a ton they've been just doing stuff from gremlins 1 for a long time releasing the same figure with different accessories yep and they released three new gremlins that are all from part two, which I'm just, I'm super excited. About. Yeah. I just and maybe, to, maybe what eating at me. I've now watched Jake walk past the Greta figure at three different uh, occasions, but he won't buy it unless it's at a target. It's very, I'm not going to buy court. it at a convention. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> oh, I like that. I about that. You. I got um, standards. And uh, yes, you, Jake, uh, you saw they did a tease for more universal monsters. Hey, eh? Yeah, there yeah. they there's a mummy coming. They release there's a lot of horror stuff. There's another McCready figure coming out. Yeah, um, they tease that there's going to be more uh, the thing like figures next year. Invisible and, uh, Man was teased. Yeah, sort of. Right, <laughs> kinda. sort of, kind of. Um, um, he's invisible. Uh, Blue also, Chainsaw Man says, "Flock that like button." Right yeah, flock right. the like button. Jedi three six seven one says, "It's been a great show. Thank you." Yeah, um, what's cool is the the Invisible Man put out by NECA is also a John Cena figure. So, I that's why we can ba, see him. Ba, da, ba. Uh, he came back on Sunday, oh, folks. Oh, I, thank dude, you for the we likes, gotta talk everyone. about that ring. Yeah. We gotta talk about the ring. Let me oh, find it real quick. Uh, Abby, plug oh something. Oh my god, what uh, are we doing? Group and we therapy. Have to send comments. Oh my god, dude, we are the worst. <laughs> if you think you're having We're fun now. Things. Join group therapy. Well, this is a wrestling ring. The fun will never end. Am I doing this yeah. plug? Do it. Do the fucking plug. <laughs> join group therapy. Uh, search on Facebook for Yes Have Some Podcast Group Therapy. You will find our closed group. Ask to join either myself or one of the people you see on the screen will accept you. And from there, you can post good content that's toy related and related to our show. And it's a great safe space to hang out. So do it. Do it. Do one it. of us also awesome. might ban you. One, oh, of, yeah, one of us also might kick you the fuck out. Yeah, Jake kicked somebody out this weekend. That's what, yeah, be, yeah join and fun. be careful. Um, <laughs> it's fun. So be aware. Here's, mm-hmm. the, here's the deal. Mattel Creations, they've been, they got all their uh, pre-orders going up this week. Uh, Sergeant Slaughter, Glow in the Dark, Skeletor, all, all sorts of stuff. <laughs> but the big reveal was this, um, here, I got it. I got it right here. I can't believe I almost botched this. Um, this crowdfunding. <laughs> they're doing their own HasLab. Mattel is doing the WWE uh, new generation arena with the light up electronic, uh, you know, That's fun. walkway. Entrance way. Entrance way, authentic scale ring with an ultimate diesel figure. I literally just sold my WWE elites and I'm like, wait, do I need to get back into them now? Um that's what you do. That's yeah. what I do. This is you really have to cool. Sell your, uh, you have to sell your police academy figures <laughs> to get time. back your <laughs> WWE elite figures. So you got your Kevin Nash uh, diesel figure here uh, with uh, alternate head, hands, vest. And um, I, I think this is really cool. Here, here's what I'll say. Are you guys ready? Hmm. I'm gonna They're going to unlock lo- more tiers as well, by the way. Just well, they tease the doink up. figure. Hmm. And I think this is what I would say about this. <laughs> Wrestling figures are more than any other ongoing like line, like WWE figures, even the peg warmers. As soon as they become unavailable, the prices go up. It's just the way it is. So a twenty, yeah. so a twenty dollar figure could be twenty dollars for two years, and then it's an eighty dollar figure. So it's like Lego in that. It is like weird Lego sense. for sure. So um, I'm I'm thinking that. Oh yeah, Jessica brings up uh, a good point. It's not the original WWF logo. It's got the the mm. updated because they can't use that because of the World Wildlife Foundation lawsuit. But that entrance stage thing, it's awesome. I yeah, think it's cool. I'd buy right? it just for that. Yeah, I'd want to put like little sparklers next to each side. And I think there is an investment. Op- they're only got to do 5,000 to unlock it. This is the kind of thing 
that five years from now could be worth eight hundred, nine hundred dollars. So what's the want, pri- what's the price on it? It's two hundred and fifty bucks, um, which is expensive. Which investment. is expensive. Mm-hmm. Pass. Jake says, "Horde pass." You said, "Hey, Horde. you said <coughs> you said they're gonna reveal a a, a what fi- a doink figure." Yeah. Call me when it's a dink figure. <laughs> I don't know what that oh, means. If I don't, dude, if if I don't get dink and doink, then get the fuck out of here. Dude, they need wow. to reveal a bunch of like that that gen that era of WWF is so hilarious. It's like so they have to do like Repo oh, Man. It makes sense that you like them. Dude, they need Repo Man the nails the Mountie. Oh, you we need a Mountie figure for sure for Ryan. And I think <laughs> maybe just like do a new Bret Hart. <laughs> you know. I just think it's really funny <laughs> because, uh, you know, back then guys like Kevin Nash came in and they couldn't really work and, you know, they had the belt for a while, but, you know, he didn't draw any money and, uh, you know, for guys like me, for champions like me, Bret Hart, the best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be to not be included in a crowd fun set like that. It's, uh, it's offensive to me, my family, to Owen, to, to, <laughs> Owen. To Calgary. <laughs> to Calgary. To my dad, Stu Hart, in the dungeon. <laughs> to uh, to Nightheart. Okay, Craig? Yeah. Let's stay on that note. Okay. Yeah. And I need you to start the piano music. Oh, rolling into it. I'll put on the piano music. I, uh, you know, I went down to WCW and Eric Bischoff, he's a maggot, always will be. <laughs> <laughs> looking for the goddamn music hold on <laughs> you know i told him you know they wanted me to go up against goldberg but the guy couldn't work and he basically ended my career and never apologized and that's offensive to me and owen and bulldog and all those guys and i saw sean i said sean and sean was crying and sean said he swear to god he had nothing to do with it but all right let me find the fucking music i think it's time for sad comments what do you guys think let's yes. let's dive here we in. go sad comments here we go all right, this is from the from the ring we just looked at. The ring on the WWF on the new Instagram. Generation. Yeah. The ring. Bret Hart would have been a more a- would have been more accurate as the face of the era, but cool nonetheless. Okay. All right. There you go. See, he agrees. Yeah. So, pretty chill. He agrees. That's why I was saying. Okay. All right. Do, uh, Good stuff. Who who's got sad comments tonight? Should we actually? I got, we, think, I got some. Okay, well, let's tell yeah, people what sad yeah, comments are. Yeah, let's sad comments. Some. This is the segment at the some. end of Toy Anxiety every week where we, where Abby leaves. I'm a human being. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm a human being. Okay. Yeah. Um, and she's now a human doing something else. I love this segment. This is where we comb the internet. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube for commentary from the fans about the ongoing saga of what's happening in the toy industry. People leave their comments and we like to read them. It's so much fun. So you both have some. Abby's got some. We got a bunch. So sit back, everybody. Relax. Jake, why don't you start us off Okay. for a little sad comment. Tell us where you got this one. This is from uh, Hasbro Pulse. This is from the Galactus figure. Okay. In the end, those YouTubers will get it first. (laughs) (laughs) Did he quote YouTubers? Yeah. So and funny. then there, and then there's a shrug emoji at the end. Dude, I should have had the I should have the music from that song in the end by Lincoln Park, the little piano. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ryan. Ryan, load it up. I am loaded. This is from the Wolverine Mondo San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Okay, here we go. Instagram. I don't think I'm ready to add going to jerk off off camera Wolverine to my collection. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Uh, now that's yeah. the official release name. I'm not if that's add- the name of it, I'm buying three of them. I love that. All right, Abigail. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, mine are from the, the NECA 
post that has like all the new stuff that they are releasing. All the exclusives? Yeah, which right. there's a theme. Um, if anyone was looking at the comments, they're going to know. And this is from Instagram? This is from Instagram. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Uh, don't get me wrong. I like this set and hope it's easy to order. Cat April could have been a nice ultimate set, but what a missed opportunity to give your customers a chance to get April O'Neil that could never find the set. Just a normal cartoon April O'Neil is needed by a shitload of your buyers, yet you still refuse to acknowledge anyone's request for any restock or pre-orders on a main character. <laughs> so yeah, that's... People are mad about the head. People are mad. Uh, the original April that came in the two-pack with... I don't even remember who she came with. Slash? I don't know. Uh, it's really hard to find and expensive now, and people, I don't think there's going to be a, a human head <laughs> included with this. Yeah, dude, with if you set. thought it was about her knees, it's about her head now. Um, yeah, we went from knees, knees to head. To what about her head? <laughs> All right, Jake, load it up. We'll, we'll, do, we'll right. do a bunch of these. We'll... Uh, it's also from the Galactus post. It's a good one. <laughs> At a month's rent, for some of us poor people, we cannot afford $399. If you make one for everyone to afford, not just doctors, lawyers, <laughs> and 44-year-old men living in their mom's basement who don't have bills, oh my God. please fill the pegs at the stores like you guys did in the 80s, too. Toys should not be hard to get. <laughs> fill the pegs is a great line. <laughs> fill, yeah, the fill, pegs. Pegs. Fill, pegs. fill the pegs. Fill, fill the, the pegs. pegs. Fill the <laughs> pegs. Fill the pegs. Like you did in the 80s. Hey, my favorite part is <laughs> like, great. I love the idea of like, at, at like some high class city bistro, doctors and lawyers sitting together, comparing their galactuses, yeah. talking about how the poor couldn't afford them. Ask me the great papa. Yes, yes. I'll mm. have a spritzer mm. with my yes, galactus. Did you get your, did you get your Haslab galactus? <laughs> <laughs> my, I can't wait to go home today and talk to my butler who picked up my Galactus for me this afternoon. Yes. Well, I'm a YouTuber, I so I got one for free. You did? You're a quote-unquote YouTuber, yes. A YouTuber. <laughs> a YouTuber. <laughs> Oh my god. I will now get medical degree in order to afford Galactus. <laughs> I am a lawyer. Possible. I know the law. Then the law is I could get a Galactus if you can't. <laughs> fill the pegs. Fill the pegs. Can't it be the 1980s? <laughs> fill those pegs. Well, I personally can't wait to cover my Galactus in caviar and have my neighbor's <laughs> over to see him. Yeah. Watch me play with him. I just went and got a new Rolls Royce, and on the way home, I just ordered another Galactus. Yeah. That'll be my third one this week. I sleep on a bed of Galactus. <laughs> yeah. Plural or not. I'm going to go take a swim in my pool filled with Galacti. Uh -huh. Yes, I think some people of my friends group refer to me as Mr. Fantastic Four because I just ordered my fourth Galactus. Yes. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. I ordered four of all of them. <laughs> yes, I'm thinking of adopting Galactus from all over the world. It looks good in my profile. <laughs> well, I definitely need a Galactus because not only is he Galactus, but he's also Ooh. friends with someone I relate to. I want to invite I want to invite all of you over to dinner on Thursday. We're serving Galactus. <laughs> oh my god. Daniel Flavis. He is coming out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jessica Parker says I'm a 40 year old bot that lives in his mom's basement. I love that. I love that. <laughs> well, I will now write my dissertation from medical college <laughs> on how to beat the poor people who can't afford such as labs as me. Yes. Do you understand? <laughs> That's more to the point. Do you understand? I, I buy your take Galactus your has -labs. every day. <laughs> All right. I can't wait to buy a Rancor next month. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my child... 
who I don't appreciate at all, has been begging me for a pet. I do not want him to clean up any of the feces from a dog or cat. I will get him a raincoat and call it a day. After all, I can't afford it. So. I don't even know who Galactus is. <laughs> Dude, we have hit the f- Fucking, we've done uh, it. Thank we've, you, Tim Babb. He's laughing. We're laughing we're too. All, we've all done it. <laughs> we've we, done that's it. why we all stick around for the first part. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Appreciate it. Yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's do some more sad comments. Let's yeah. do it. Fuck okay, yeah. Yeah, we're do it. just getting started. Cool. <laughs> um, who's next? I got Ryan? Uh, no? oh. Abby. Sure. I'll go. Abby. Whoever. Yeah. Yeah. From NECA. The same post four pack the turtles okay where's the music there it is i am beyond scared <laughs> if the four pack is limited quantities on the neca store the only reason i've been able to get most of the turtle figures is because of the neca store target for me and many others is a freaking wasteland so here's hoping i'm able to get it on the neca store I love that. I am beyond scared was my favorite part. I am beyond scared. I am beyond. <laughs> I'm well beyond past Beyonce. scared, folks. <laughs> I'm in a wasteland. Target's like Mad Max. <laughs> yeah. All right, Jake. <laughs> Walmart, so, people are Ryan, stabbed. Who's up? Yeah, let, let Ryan go. Ryan, Ryan. All right. Mine is again from Mondo Wolverine. I just thought this was funny, not so much. Where's the person? Same bed that the Olympians sleep in. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> have you guys not heard about like the the beds that they have for the Olympians in Tokyo, where you oh they're like they're tiny, making them right? So you can't have sex in them, and they're made out of cardboard. <laughs> oh, oh, that sucks. They're still everyone's still gonna figure out a way. They're gonna figure it oh, out. Oh, dude, if there's a the floor. There's bumping. a fucking floor. Yeah, they'll find a way. Yeah. Um, Thank you, Blue Chainsaw Man. We, we got a, a user submitted um, sad comment from from uh, the NECA reveals that I, I think I would like to read, if that's okay. Mm. Do it. This was sent to us. Yes. I want to give credit here. Mm. This was sent. We always like the three bees toy hive on Instagram said, "Don't know if you guys accept submissions for sad comments, but I saw this on Twitter and thought of you guys." So, all right, here we go. It's official. NECA Toys doesn't give a damn about alien fans anymore. (laughs) Three paltry repaints. All the SDCC exclusives are TMNT. It's over. The one shining light us aliens fans had is now gone. Guess we should have expected it. We're used to being treated like shit wow. by Fox. That's not coming from some other part of the person's life. <laughs> well, it's it's not as if NECA hasn't put out a, a thousand, billion alien a figures. A thousand yeah. million aliens. Jesus Christ. By the way. Ten million. There's nothing else to put out. That guy could totally be a Ghostbusters fan. I think we should recruit he him. He probably is. We should, we should let him. him know, hey, do you like being we... mad and shortchanged? I am so we... sick of Fox. <laughs> 20th century Fox walking in with their big payday from Disney and taking a huge shit <laughs> on the <laughs> Aliens fans. <laughs> Repaint, re-release. I want... Like, Jake, you're right. There's... They've released all the alien figures. They're, yeah. It's on. It's over done. Over and over and over. All right. Who's got one? I got one more. All right, Jake. Load her Last up. one. This is also from the Galactus post. I bet it didn't cost $399.99 to make. <laughs> yeah. So how do you guys afford something like this? Sell a kidney? I've got one, so I can't sell it. Maybe one of my loans will justify the price. A Marvel Legend that size should be $50. Take it or leave it. It doesn't cost that much to create. 
Ever since COVID, prices increase, and oh my God, I'm so sorry if I've triggered you or upset you with this comment. Just anyone in general just wanted to oh voice an opinion. Is that still allowed in 2021? No? Oh, okay. Sorry. My bad. Is that Tim Robbins? A piece A piece of plastic may have sentimental value, but I choose... Food, gas, and electric. <laughs> wow. hey, the oh, first yeah. part of hey, that should come in. Don't want anyone the The first <laughs> part of that comment literally could be translated to, "Listen, I don't know how anything in the world works. <laughs> <laughs> Must be nice." I'm mad. I'm walking around town with one kidney here. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to pay the electric bill. I'll give you 30 bucks for that Galactus on a good day. <laughs> Designers and sculptors shouldn't get paid to make toys. They should do it because they like it. You should have oh, pay there it is. for there their it is. wage. All right? my, favorite part, so, my favorite part of that comment is when he just starts having a conversation with himself. Yes, He's just like yes, two what? sides yes. just no? like talking to he himself. Goes, he kicks back he in. Goes, he goes... Can I have an opinion in 2021? <laughs> I can't, or I can. I guess I'll we already like, this is clearly all about the We toys. already decided how this guy talks. It's like, oh, I'm sorry if my comment triggered y'all, <laughs> but let me tell you, you know, I want to get my toys, and I ain't going to take out a third loan for a Galactus. I'm not going to sell my Body part third kidney. The fact that he I said the fact that, he, <laughs> the fact that he that says Galactus should only be fifty dollars <laughs> is ridiculous. Uh -huh. Oh my god, dude! You expect me? Don't bucks? Marvel Legends start at fifty? Three hundred and ninety-nine, ninety-nine. That's pit tickets to the Monster Rally. Monster Truck Rally. That's Gravedigger <laughs> up close. Uh, okay? that's, a that's a photo and an autograph of that's a, a Monster that's Truck. That's a VIP pit ticket. I can sit in the pit <laughs> that and I can high five the Gravedigger as he drives by <laughs> for that kind of money. That is 12 suitcases of white crystals. <laughs> White the castle. castle. White, white castle. Sorry. Oh, I can't remember oh, what it's called. It's called Crystal Gear. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. I have gone to the Georgia Dome every January for 22 years to see the Monster Truck Rally. I've seen them all. I've seen Bigfoot. I've seen the Carolina Crusher. And I've seen Gravedigger. I've sat inside Gravedigger, okay? So you're talking to a man who's been around the block, is what I'm saying. And if you're expecting me to pay $3, $199.99 for a piece of plastic that I can make myself. I just choose not to. You're crazy. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, <laughs> why listen, would I, I get I, a toy for $399 costs. when I can get a used NASCAR steering wheel for the same price? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we live in Georgia. We're allowed to do this. Yes, Sorry. Yes, and I'm we, Canadian. We and I don't give a shit about Americans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is the white crystal is much different product. White crystal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It came out and I was like, passed. that's not Dude, it. Dude, trust me. There are people who've gone to White Castle, Crystal, and White Crystal the same day. Okay? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Ryan, do you, you have one more? Ghost heads, you can go to uh, stop, 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 stop. Patreon. J Ryan, are you are you ready? Yeah, sure. I could be ready. Is this the greatest we sad you, comments we of all you. time? The best. Okay. This is on the wrestling ring as well. <laughs> I'm more interested when the exclusivity of the Masters of the WWE Universe is ending so us international fans can build the superstar roster Eternia deserves <laughs> hey i fucking agree let him <laughs> let him get a he-man <laughs> it's not about you craig this, this, this is my people this That's is the it. international i'm gonna move overseas and not be able to find anything and i'm gonna leave all the sad comments so there oh dude the best is that guy in the jake stevens video where he's like I'm from Germany and I get nothing. Can I please get something? <laughs> oh, I like you that even guy. answered that. Yeah. I yeah, like, I that, like guy. that guy. He's Good awesome. <laughs>
Dude, I love that. Good for him. All right, I got one more that has been provided to me by Abigail Gardner. Now, what is, is this on NECA as well? Yeah, NECA. Okay, I think go. this is on their like main things are coming post before they this actually reveal stuff. This is the last one. This is the last one. It's a conversation between a couple of people. Should I read all these? Yeah. You need to make the figures you create through your vendors better quality. Nobody should be heating up a toy in order to play with them or do whatever. <laughs> What's the whatever? Or what? do whatever? I don't know what the heating the toy up means. Somebody replied, you just don't have the magic touch. <laughs> <laughs> that he, replied, you you he replied, you work for them, right? I'm not disrespecting <laughs> nobody. I'm just speaking facts. This is not the same thing I pulled out of a hat. And then someone at the bottom's like... <laughs> and someone says, I'm sorry, you're mad your toy is not warm? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like hot bread, man. You gotta have your toys like hot bread. It's yes. like a whole new thing I didn't know about. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, NECA does have some issues from time to time with stiff joints. You gotta give them a little... A little magic little hair dryer. Mm -hmm. Loosen them up. Mm -hmm. Listen, I shouldn't have to heat up my toys to play with them or do whatever it is I do with my toys. Okay? I don't want anybody around here thinking that I don't do a lot with my toys because I do. All sorts I scalp of stuff. Them, I buy them all and then I scalp them and then I sell them back to you for triple the price. Uh, 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 uh. Some call it scalping. Some call it being a great businessman, man. Well, this was fun. Yeah. My new favorite characters are the ri the, the aristocrats <laughs> by Haslabs. Yeah. Yes. The Aristocollectors. collectors. Yes, I the even... Yes. Uh, Jeeves, tell us the story of the time you built a one-to-one -one mm -hmm. scale Jabba barge to store all the barges you bought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I bought a Razor Crest and it was destroyed the following season. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. I'm just going right. like, to use my small spoon here to stir some tea while I... Purchase another Galactus. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Well, everybody, this was so much fun. We appreciate everybody hanging out. Make sure that you are adding us on your podcast app, if that's where you're listening to this, or you're subscribing to us on YouTube. And please stay tuned because we got a lot going on at YHS. We got multiple shows happening. YHS on Monster Island, YHS Prime, Toy Anxiety, Bad Bitches. We got our friends at the containment unit. We got big news coming from them soon. Uh, there's a little movie called Ghostbusters Afterlife that's just a couple months away and I have a feeling we're going to be talking about it a lot a lot, a lot. Um, All right, well good night, y'all I gotta go to the march truck and I gotta go to sell <laughs> kidneys so I can go get my toys oh my god yeah if I can't find the Galactus at Kmart I ain't getting the Galactus ah uh, film pegs <laughs> J. Key says, J. Key says, I'd like to see a dinner party with the Galactus and the Southern Galactus should be $50 guy. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah. Somebody make that t shirt. Pet Warmers 2021. Woo! Pick that truck. Feel the pigs, man. All right, everybody. Have a beautiful, safe, wonderful evening. If it's raining, get an umbrella. If it's an earthquake, get into a doorway. Mm -hmm. If there's a tornado, get into the bathroom and find the bathtub. Yes. We know all the things to do in dangerous situations. We're very safe. Uh, okay. Ryan, what okay. natural disasters do you have in Vancouver? Mudslides? New subject yes. before we go. American syrup. <laughs> syrup slides. Syrup shortage. Syrup. <laughs> syrup. Uh, syrup beavers. Slide. Syrup beavers. slides. Polar bears. Polar bears are a thing. Dan Aykroyd. You got your tires. Right Dan Aykroyd the and adjust right the beaver car thing. <laughs> coyotes are leaving the trees and attacking people in rural areas right now. Do they live no, inside Dan the trees? Dan Aykroyd is in the That's south cool. right now, yeah. but he's coming on down the bend pretty quick. <laughs> you see over here, the syrup. Is <laughs> the syrup is going to tell We've me got a cold front of Martin Short. Early. Yeah. <laughs> if you look over here near the John Candy Memorial, you will see that the snow has risen about six feet down from below and over by the Dan Aykroyd Boat Vodka. 
Bye. Now we're getting a we're getting a call that the hockey shortage. Are <laughs> <laughs> oh my god.